Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. Uh, you guys are really awesome for doing this. Do you guys want to introduce yourself a little bit? Nice to be here. Uh, I'm Oscar. I'm a full-time master's student and I've worked at practices in London and development practices. Hello everyone, I'm Ahmed. I'm a Zubair um, and I'm studying master's part-time. Um, I have a YouTube channel called Architecture Insider and I've, I've done a couple of months of experience in the firm in Bourbon. It's been a couple of months since I've looked at this. Um, I think once we submitted it, I think I did what every normal student does is I never look at it again. So it was nice having three people in the group. Um, I've been in, I'm currently in a group project of, what is it, six people. And it's difficult to get consistent work out of everyone or any work at all from some individuals. <laughs> I think we all understood we are a group working together. Yeah. This is our prod, one of our main modules for our um, masters. It's as serious as any other project and it just so happens three of us working on it as opposed to one person. We started off getting a, getting things done straight away. We were happy doing the work. We never had uh, like a negative attitude. We were always positive about the work we were doing. We were always communicated with each other. Of course, every group once in a while has its ups and downs, but I guess that's just what makes, uh, you know, relationships better. You know what I think also worked in our favor? That we all had similar design styles, like we were all open to angles, yeah. curves, yes. whatever, whatever it came. I, I enjoyed it and I definitely think we did really nice work, as which we'll see again. Our front cover, our front page, um, there's a familiar looking logo, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> And this was the start. This was the start of all our analysis, wasn't it? Our client was this church, her community church in Cornwall. They had just recently acquired a bit of extra land beyond just this small church that they wanted to actually go and build on. Yeah, look at those beautiful people. That's us. Yes, the team structure. Rasha was our esteemed architect slash practice manager. Ahmad was our esteemed BIM coordinator slash architect, other way around. Then I was the uh, architect slash technical. None of these meant actually anything. It's not like we specifically divided work up to only certain people doing it. We all did the same work, but they wanted us to look at like we were an actual practice. So. I was in charge of design mainly. Ahmed was in charge of technical stuff and BIM. You were in charge of... Oscar was in charge of like cost and CDM and stuff. I think it was still good that for the actual design process, we started it together. Mm. And then we like we started it together and then it was more Russia who would develop it. And then we'd come together but yeah. before we finalize it, see if we both have any ideas, all three of us have any ideas to add to it. That's a familiar looking group development flow diagram, I believe, Russia. Yes, it's on this channel. Um, it is. Is it it's link in the corner? Is that how you do it on YouTube? <laughs> uh, yeah. I did a project once in university, which had like circles and stuff, and my teacher called it the blob. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> the blob. <laughs> nice. On the brief, we had to basically include our actual minutes, rather than having it take up thirty different pages. Thanks to a day-to-day -day template, we made a much smaller weekly template, which. Um, I won't lie, some of this isn't true, but the tutors don't have to know that. Some of this was like, what did I, what did we talk about that week? I didn't write, it was like, I only wrote a couple of things down for that week. I was like, and we talked about this. <laughs> How many times do you um, guys think we met, like in the week? I think it was twice a week. Yeah, it was twice a week. Sometimes we'd go for a third if it was necessary. Yeah, exactly. And then this is a big old project schedule. So, Ahmed, you did this one. Yeah, so this was trying to make it to a real program with the RIBA stages. Again, this was all about trying to make it as realistic as possible. So uh, uh, I did this precedent, which was by Coop Kimablau, and it was the Martin Luther Church, and it was such a really good project. Um, we liked the timber, we liked the metal, also like the glass roof on top. Um, I didn't have time, like I sketched it out and then I didn't sketch it properly and I didn't have time to scan it. But luckily, Oscar and Ahmed did sketch their precedent, so that was good. Yeah, um, this was 
one which actually when I chose it I didn't realize it was going to be so kind of influential on some of our design work but this is the um uh it's a community center in several canny it's basically a church and outside it's got this beautiful mesh metal and foil concept which meant the further away you were the more silver it was and the more as you approach the building you it literally came into view because then you could start seeing the red bleed through really it's just a really nice building it's just well well planned out well thought the precedent that i did was uh, just looking mainly about the technical aspect of a sports hall because uh, we never done a sports hall before so i went to more of a boring project it was still a bit interesting the, the way they um the way they had their technical details and the way they did some of the initial work and the lighting yeah. uh, like the roof structures and stuff and again i chose it because there was a dropbox a link to the public where it had every single detail for every project all of the planning stuff which was useful to make us understand about how uh, like structures works uh, in sports halls yeah definitely that's always helpful <laughs> yeah and i think the lectures really liked yours ahmed didn't they because it was all diagrammatic and sketches it just makes you understand the, the project a bit more you know, even sometimes your diagrams might be wrong but it's your interpretation on how you think and what you think of the project yeah definitely yeah. and a project brief analysis. brief analysis um just mainly looking at different uh, the different spaces that we had to um we wanted to implement in the building or which was asked for us obviously so such as the gymnasium um, uh, there was some music recording space uh, that they wanted as well and um, but this brings us quite nicely on to the site itself the location in Cornwall which is a very small village it's not even a town it's a village it's this was just looking at the history so you know this is the good thing about masters though there's a lot of competition but you you learn from each other a lot mm. there's a lot of people doing different things so it just uh, you know pushes you to be more creative and this is one of the outcome of it we did a lot of research didn't we like a lot yeah, we did. yeah exactly a lot especially for the existing and for our proposed we really looked at loads of things i think our issue that we took a long time on it because we thought okay there's a lot of people that do a lot of analysis and so over time we came together and started to merge diagrams more together i always think a lot of analysis is good it shows an understanding for everything and i know a lot of people will kind of just go oh well i've looked at the sun path that's all we need to look at it's like eh, maybe look at a little bit more than that which we definitely did <laughs> more than that yeah. i think even we could have even how much however much we did we could have still uh, learned more from the analysis a lot of times it's it becomes a tick box a, a checklist which shouldn't be it should really influence your um, your design those sketches that we sketched which i think all of the lecturers really liked how all three of us had like one big sheet of drawing and then we would all sketch on it and then i was yeah. for example i'll tell oscar oscar find me president for office ahmed find me president for gallery and then we we would all bring our ideas together yeah we were really really collaborative these are the things that make people come together closer for a project and make sure what yeah. makes your friends rather than you do this you do that i'm going to put it together and yeah. as you're seeing a bit as well doing the model making stuff that was always, that was great Some and you saw also ideas. like you learned how to use revit now didn't you Yes, I after a very frustrating first day, I calmed down yeah. and went back to it and <laughs> I got it. It is is yeah. good. Um, That's not if group group work is done done right and mm -hmm. people people are willing to do things that they can't, you can actually learn a lot. Like yeah. if, 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 I was so angry, you know, that the project finished without us having being able to do proper uh, model. Uh contacts for everyone at home. Over the Christmas break, we were then not allowed to return to our studios to yeah. get any of the work for anything like that except super special circumstances which neither, none of us could get into because of that all of this model still sit at the um studios today in the cupboards well, it's so, a shame yeah those were really nicely spray painted like they're so crisp and clean. 3d printers were so cool the previous uh, presentations weren't they mm. yeah See, there's the church there's mentioned and then this was the um the the new site they had got and then this was our proposed plan our project we decided to have about four main forms um because we thought that could work really well with the functions and we could design each space 
and each form specifically towards that space. So we've had one form for sports hall, one church, one for lounge and kitchen area, and then the last form was um, like a, an exhibition space slash multi-use space, and that opened up and connected all of the spaces together, which you can see in the middle. And um, I think the biggest struggle we had with the project, which was the sports hall, because and the church, oh, like they wanted how many people? I think a hundred and twenty people um, in that church yeah. space, as well as like um, standard Olympics and inside the sports hall. So getting the sizes and measurements exactly. for both the sports hall and the church was quite a challenge. We really challenged the brief. When we each time we presented, there were mixed emotions from the client that some of them liked it, some of them weren't really convinced with it, but we just kept going with our idea. They wanted yeah. it to be like one large space for everything, the church and the sports hall. But we, we explained to them that, look, it needs to be designed so that there's more architecture to it. It's a bit of a gray area by what that means, you know, challenging the brief and thinking outside the box. It's a bit difficult sometimes, but stick with your idea and if you explain it well enough, then go yeah, for it. It's important to say as well, I guess, just because a tutor might be oh, a bit iffy with an idea you have, or maybe a, a room you've got or an adjacency thing, something like that, doesn't mean that it's terrible, throw out, we scrap it, you know, we start from the beginning. And it's just a case of explaining your ideas, working with it and presenting it in a way that's going to convince them like, oh, Yes, that is the right thing to have done. When you, when you like develop the project and you start adding all of the details, it completely transforms the project because if we had just literally boxes and said, okay, this is the sports hall and the church without actually designing it, then it would have been a different conversation. Exactly. Yeah. This is why I started to not like having so many tutorials. It is yeah. sometimes a bit frustrating when, when you, for example, present an initial idea and they tackle and attack you like what's going to be built tomorrow like chill it's not the final one in the past i've mentioned just an idea like oh and i was thinking about you know having blue carpets and then and then you know even if i say like but i went i decided not to do that they always just seem to harp on something like that and like why the blue carpets why carpet why not this why, why have you done it and it's like i said i moved on from there let us move on from this please these were quite fun to do actually, these ISO drawings. It's a sports hall. Um, it's got just a nice design, a nice roof. It took a long time to make them. Yeah. They were, they were like... Wasn't it each one of these apples are its own model as well? Yeah, Beautiful. like modeling, like in SketchUp, it was a pain. Did you guys know it was, that uh, it was, it was very interesting. At the bottom, using InDesign? Who did you? <laughs> I exported it as one and then I placed it and then I did the, the, the white stuff in InDesign. <laughs> oh, nice. oh, wow. That was cool. I was too lazy. Pretty good. Very good. I always like the way that it came out into a big open space. Uh, like yeah, that's really hearted. important. Yeah. yeah. But mm. This render is important. It shows the open space on top. Mm. I like the, uh, the the way the wall as well is angled. It's I, yeah, exactly. just a nice part to a um, couple of images yeah. some arts. And that's with the wall being uh, dragged across so it's two separate spaces. Exactly. Um, and the little the plans, the plans really help. And now this was kind of looking back at the, the analysis of now our project, um, as opposed to existing sites and things. Got the another uh, form development. Always like these images. You did a good job with these. Yeah, thank you. Those, those were covered, like try to uh, do the same as BIG. And those are mm -hmm. also on my YouTube channel. Then we get into the uh, the fun stuff, the uh, the CDM work. Actually, this adjacency diagram was quite fun to do. I quite like that. Dude, it's but um, not really nice, you know. I like how you did this. Yeah. Because I remember I had no idea how to present it. I was like, "Hey, Rasha, I don't know how this should all fit on a page." <laughs> there you go, though. <laughs> I think that was a really another important thing that even though it was separate task, we were still open to help people. <laughs> Sustainability statement. That's right. So much like. As all buildings should be nowadays, way more sustainable, way better. Not just dump concrete on a place and then leave it for 100 years. Mm. And then on to more of the technical reports. Yeah, structural layout, we did it all on a grid. Yeah, structural strategy, as you can see. Um, just live loads versus dead loads and such. I thought I was back in Saudi doing structural analysis or something. Uh, I like it. <laughs> nice. And yeah, got some absolutely I was, lovely... I was 
I was so happy with that because I've always seen on Pinterest people doing these digital mm-hmm. elevations, and then I was like, I need to do one for this project. I don't care how long it takes. Yes, and uh, it came out really, really good. Really oh. happy. Oh, this uh, image though. Mm. <laughs> Bam! Oh, oh, absolutely, just it's absolutely. I was so proud and happy of myself to get this done. Man, it, was, it was really, really tough. Like quality. Yeah, look at all of this. You even got the grates done. No cold bridges, as far as I can see. Uh, <laughs> here, your, your windows. The hidden gutters. Oh yeah, it took a lot. Foundations. Oh hell no! All day. Don't say it too much, yeah. but people will, people will start committing all of the mistakes. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> hang on a second, that shouldn't be there. <laughs> uh, the good thing about doing a big one like this is then you also have all of these smaller pieces, which you can. Yeah. A couple of renders of some of the sections. Yeah. Um, Those are pretty cool, cool as well, to be honest. Yeah, I think these are the prettiest renders I've ever done. <laughs> um, some sort of miscommunication about who was doing this task. <laughs> we ended up both doing the, the environmental set. Obviously, a nice of Russia that she didn't want to like, leave out our feelings. So you just put, mm-hmm. okay, fine, just put both on. Can't be, I can't be bothered having to yeah. merge you guys to work together. So, well, no, so vitamin pages. I think both of them had like, their own quality, you know? What you could have done is just uh, cut the images in half and just Frankenstein them together. <laughs> and then that would have made no sense, but it's best of both worlds. <laughs> Um, and materials, looking at the providers for the materials, because obviously it came towards like costs and stuff like that as well. I spent, I spent maybe two days trying to figure out how to use this stupid plugin, different programs, so many different things. And I turned out there was a, there was a program that you just import your Revit model or Sketch model, and it does this for you. Amazing. Really, really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Some field and Clegg Bradley's work. Um, this is like uh, was about the future predictions on how we should be, how the carbon footprint of the building should be. Mm. Yeah. And it's just you put put, a, put in a couple of numbers and then it gives you all of the data. Mm. It's like the predictions and where your building is. And we actually changed. I think our building was pretty good at the end. That's yeah, we had to, had to do that because yeah, because it was too much. Then fire strategies. Oh, we've got to make sure you you can get out of your building. Um, those are done really well, you know, like well done, Oscar. Those fire drawings, they look really good. Yeah, Actually, honestly, very thank well. Thank you. <laughs> um, I remember staring at one point, and I think I just stared at the ziggy lines for like a solid minute, like, this is weird to look at. <laughs> but I, I, I like them. Um, oh, God, here we go. CDM. Um, Shall we explain I'm like, uh, it is to anyone who doesn't. It is. God, it is construction, design and management regulations. And they're basically a lot of, I don't want to say paperwork, but it kind of is paperwork of, it, it comes quite a lot from like health and safety stuff to uh, a lot of risk identification um, and just general things which are going to make sure that someone's not going to necessarily get injured on site or trying to mitigate any, I don't want to say dangers, but kind of dangers. For example, one particular one, which is, I believe this is CDM4, which looks at potential risks and then how you can control them. Can we design them out? No. Then how do we um, deal with it? And then other things such as cleaning windows up high. I think the only one which I didn't actually bother doing one about is banging your head on a ankled wall. Because I just thought, <laughs> it's not a significant enough risk to warrant an entire thing. Like. Just use your common sense and don't walk into a wall. Yeah. <laughs> and then just some building regulation stuff. And then kind of looked at programming and phasing work after that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, where was that? Yeah, the, con- the contract, yeah. Yeah, that's it. The type of contract and the ambitions. And uh, different phasing and how you'd go about, you know, blocking things on site. And would you open one sector out? the public or another part's being built. Some projects do that. Feasibility cost as well. Um, again, first time ever doing something like this for I think all of us really. So can't say that this yeah. is an accurate representation of how much it would have cost us, but... Uh, how, how much did it come to in the end? It was something like 
3.3 million to 3.5 million, more or less. Um, which I think was pretty fine. Always end on a nice image. That's something I've learned is just yeah, exactly. always end on a nice image rather than boring cost analysis. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, the final page of the document. Uh, it's just some numbers. Uh, gross. <laughs> yeah, I think I think like that render is done really, really well by you, mm. actually. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's, I like that. It's also our first page one because it's just such a good one. It just shows our project in such a nice light. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, yeah, so very happy with that's it. Our yeah. Project, yeah, I'm generally really happy with it and how it's turned yeah. out. And Rasha had done the entire layout, and it's obviously the presentation. Gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, very, very uh, good layout. Uh, does remind me of a um, one thing was uh, we have these like little side squares, which has always been a little bit of text. But Rasha had first given me the document for whenever I filled it out on my end, and she had highlighted this in red. And I was like, oh, okay, so they're going to appear on the document in red. So you know, never changed the colour. And then when it came to the day of handing in and we were doing our final quick look over, I was like, Rasha, why is it black? I thought it was all red. And Rasha said that it was because it was just so she remembered about them. And this entire time, he thought that it was a, it was a design uh, idea. Like, oh, we're going to have red information so people's <laughs> eyes are drawn to. I was like, that's a nice idea. Nope. <laughs> Like, it would have been so much easier if I told you, oh, Oscar, these are not red. So why are you sending it to me red? Yeah, I would have changed them all as I did it, rather than sending you every single document until the very final day of them in red. Okay, bye everyone. Have a good day. Uh, all right, take care. Day. See everyone. No worries. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye, bye everyone. Bye. I'm in a meeting. Leave me alone. How many times do you have to say it? Oh my God. You're like a tiny ant in the grass. Oh, that's right, you can add your own images. If you see a mistake, are we going to mention it and laugh about it or just ignore it? Why? What's the mistake? Ooh. Yeah, go on. Uh, on, the left, on the left page, you know the numbers? One, two, three, four, five. Look at number seven, look what it says. What? It says youth group instead of youth group. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it does. Whoever wrote that, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you can have the videos like to be like best friends sharing each other's or giving feedback to each other's projects or monetize you know, our friendship, you know, <laughs> or grading, grading, grading each other's work. Yeah, I know. So I'll uh, schedule our next talk in a couple of months. Yeah, don't have to see each other till then. Cool. Right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I know where you guys stand now in my friendship. It's the bottom yeah. of the list. Get a little bit scared, actually, he still thinks we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> like, did you say, did you say good enough? Okay. Okay, okay, do it again, do it again, do it again. Keep it together, guys, what the hell? I'm crying now. Leave me alone. Okay, okay, I'm good, I'm good. I know, I know we haven't seen each other in a while, but there's no need to cry. <laughs> Oh.